Hey guys, welcome to day one of the Shopify training for AliExpress. So we're going to bring together content for you that's going to give you the complete understanding of how to build a dropshipping store. Now, the first thing we need to do, I'm going to jump right into this, is set up your Shopify account. Now, if you go to ericlaflesh.com slash Shopify, you get a special 14-day free trial um, exclusive for my followers and my uh, individuals in the class. So jump right in over to ericlaflesh.com slash Shopify. That will give me a little bit of cash, a little bit of referral fee, but you also get a 14 day free trial. So it benefits both of us and I can continue to make these videos. Now I've already gone in through the setup login process. It's quite simple. They ask you for um, a little bit of information about yourself, the email you want to use and your store name, plus your address and a couple other things. So jump on to ericlaflesh.com slash Shopify, set up that account very quickly get all the information into the account so you can start building your dropshipping store. Now, if I head over to what I have already set up, I've called it Kitchen Up. So this is gonna be focused on kitchen equipment, home equipment um, for the kitchen. We're gonna build a store focused generically on that type of uh, product. So once you have set up your Shopify account, once you've gone through that process, you'll see this dashboard. Now the beginning of this process is quite simple. Um, Shopify is a completely built e-commerce solution, so everything you need is already built in, um, with the exception of some apps that we're gonna add later on, which I will be showing you, but the majority of the stuff that you need is already set up. There's a few things you do need to do right from the beginning though. And to do those, those include setting up your theme, setting up a few private policies and other information that you need to set up to be a legitimate e-commerce store. So in order to do that, you can go first to, on the left here, you'll see the online store, and then you can click on online store, and finally on themes. Now, with the theme, it's already installed the Launchpad Star theme. Now, I don't recommend using this one. I actually have one that I've uh, bought from Theme Forest for $52. If you really want a solid theme of your choice, go to themeforest.com and click on the Shopify themes and you'll be able to find one you like. Or if you want, you can just go to visit theme store on Shopify and choose one that you like. So while this loads, some of these will cost up to $180. Some of them are completely free. So I'm going to show you the ones that are completely free by clicking free right here. Um, but once again, I prefer the $50 to $70 themes at themeforest.com. Now, one that a lot of people seem to use here um, is the simple theme. That one's really popular. Solo theme. That's only if you're doing a single product store. If you're doing a multi-product store, you're going to want something like simple. Um, the other ones that uh, are here are really great. It really depends on what you're selling. If you're selling snowboarding, Venture is really, really strong. But... I'm just going to in install simple right now, so I'm just going to click on this and hit install theme. Now all of these are completely responsive for your mobile device, so you shouldn't have any issue when it comes to your, your Facebook ads later on that are focused through mobile Facebook. You'll go right to a responsive theme and be able to upload completely um, and people can go to it and see all your product and buy. And all the applications that we install on Shopify are also mobile friendly. So they will pop up on a phone, which is extremely important. Now I'm going to go to the, your theme manager really quickly here. So once you choose the theme you want, you can go to theme manager and then you'll see that it has installed right here. And you'll have other themes that you've installed below and you can hit publish or view those themes to see what they look like. So it's very simple. Now if you buy one from themeforest.com or another website, instead of going to visit theme store, you're going to hit up upload theme and pick that zip file that you've downloaded and that will install right to this platform as well where you can preview and then ultimately use it. So that is some of the um, first steps when it comes to the themes. Now if you click on the left here back to preferences this is extremely important as well. You want to go in and um, change the information about your store, kitchen app, put in um, the kitchen equipment that you need. Put in a nice description um, that will describe your store overall. This is all very important for not only Facebook, but also Google SEO and other um, web search 
uh, like Bing.com when they ultimately look for your, your e-commerce store later on. As you build it up, as you become more popular, you can start getting organic search and it's extremely important that you fill in these details. Now later on we're going to copy in the Google Analytics code and the Facebook pixel, but for now you do not need to fill out these pages. We will come back to that later. Now I'm going to go back to um, our settings really quickly here. Uh, oops, sorry, I'm going to save that really quick. Then we're going to go back to the settings at the bottom once this saves. I'll come right back to you guys in a second. Okay guys, so now that I'm into the settings of the theme itself, there's one last thing that's extremely important to check off. Now, if you go over to check out here, um, these are very important aspects of your store that you need to have in order to run Facebook ads, in order to run Google ads, or any type of advertisement to your site, you need to fill these out. Now, if you scroll to the bottom here you'll, of checkout, you'll see the refund, privacy, and terms of service statements. To get these up and running, it's extremely simple. All you need to do is hit generate, sample refund policy you can read through this change anything that you want um, but it's pretty well written for the most part and you might not need to change anything um, same thing for generate sample private policy and finally generate sample terms of service now i'd go through all of these make sure that you're comfortable with everything that it says and change any language that you need to um, in order to demonstrate what you are willing to actually do with your store when it comes to refunds, when it comes to the data that you're collecting and so on. Finally on this page at the top, you'll notice that there's customer accounts. Now you don't need customer accounts, um, but I always put mine to optional so you can build out a different um, account for each person. And basically if they choose to opt in, that's another account that you have to retarget later on. So I definitely enable this and um, you can also uh, later on put an app in place that is signed in with Facebook, sign in with Google, sign in with Twitter, so it makes it extremely easy for people to make accounts. So that's the beginning and the basics of the setup, guys. It's extremely simple. Those are the first steps you need to take. Go into your store, set up the title, set up the terms of service and privacy policies, and make sure that you ultimately have everything set up as we just discussed, which will allow us to start building out the apps um, and installing the apps that we need for the store. You can go through all the left side here, continue to check into each of the settings to see what you're happy with and not happy with, um, and adjust accordingly to what you see fit for your store. But I've covered everything you really need to go into in the beginning. Okay guys, tomorrow I'm gonna to jump into the apps. The next video I'm gonna jump into the apps that we need to install, get those up and running. We're gonna go into logos later on, the advertising itself, creating, and pushing a product, researching it, and then ultimately connecting AliExpress with your dropshipping store. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next series of videos and talk to you soon.